Good morning, Valtopia. Hey, honey. Happy to, or what is it, Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? I don't even know what day it is anymore, right? It's September 16th, Wednesday, September the 16th, 2020. Good morning, Sarah. Hello, everybody. So, good morning. Um, I am, I just wanted to pop on this morning. I really wanted to share, uh, well, first of all, hi, I'm Val Cripps. <laughs> I'm a frequency guide. I'm an energy artist. I'm a really powerful um, support for you, leaders, sensitive, highly sensitive, powerful leaders. And I, I've been going through my own transformation. I always share my own transformation because when we learn from others, we learn so much. So I wanna say good morning and I wanted to pop on and share some vibes with my quantum healing device and pull some cards. And I wanted to talk about when your body is lagging and your mind and energy and spirit is ready to rock and your body is like, fuck you, we're having problems. So I've suffered a lot um, through my life with hormonal issues and body issues. And if you watch my video from yesterday, you could see like I was a lot more bloated yesterday and my body was going through some sort of detox and my device detected it and I was able to pump the frequencies for most of the day. Well, for the recommended amount, I did three programs and also pumped the microcurrents into the air. And by the end of the day, I could see that my face had released. So a lot of our problems um, that we experience physically come from inflammation and like blockages of energy and flow in our system. And uh, I know for me, I'm 50, like we didn't even talk about this stuff when I was younger. And there's so many tools available now. And what I'm using here is my Healy quantum healing device. And you know, um, your life will catch up with you when you don't catch up with your body, right? Your, your body um, needs love and care and your cells and your body and your being want space to regenerate through the experiences that you have. And so for me, I just drove across country last week with my kids and my dog and came back to Los Angeles. There was the smoky air and I was having my cycle, okay? My cycle's just finishing today. So yesterday, I felt a lot more energy than I had in a lot of days and I showed up on live stream and everything um, and I was looking at the video yesterday and I had all this extra fluid and weight in my face. And I gain it, I always show that inflammation in my face. Um, and after pumping three sessions of the Healy and doing my um, work to uh, release whatever was in my body, um, I'm a whole new person today. So I want you to know there's a lot of you that, that watch me and and suffer from body stress. And there's a lot of people that are promoting self-help and um, talking about shifting your vibration, and maybe they're not knowing how deeply some of us suffer in our body stress because of choices we've made over the years, and we're catching up with ourselves. I'm not saying that you can't change what you've created, uh, but I am saying that know your space of being that it requires for you to recuperate and regenerate yourself and discover tools that help um, accelerate the process of regeneration and nourish your being so that when you go to do what you need to do, you're not coming from an em empty an empty body, right? So let me know if this resonates for you. Um, I, I jumped on and I, I didn't plan my words and I'm waking up and I haven't even run the Healy yet. So hey, Janine. Hello. So first of all, I know my kids are gonna be showing up any second now too, so that's kind of distracting me, but what I wanna show you is I'm gonna run the Healy and I'm gonna um, run my vibration. So I'm gonna run my aura today. And yesterday I recorded a whole video uh, for you guys explaining the process of how this works. And I'm gonna continue it today and then if you'd like it, I'll send it to you. Um, because it's, it's a complex, Thing to come into understanding how this works. So I'm, I'm sharing my journey as much as I can. So take a look, here's my, oh, you can't even see that. Well, my aura is here and, oh, it's, it's registering low. Um, so I'm gonna do a quick little shift here and really tune in. And if you're, tune into your chakras with me right now, as I do mine, and see what comes to you. Hi, Janine. So I'm glad you said hello. And 
feel these vibrations as they come through. You can see it? Okay, good. So it, it said 53 was my total, which you guys, when I was on the lake, the freshwater lake, I was registering at 90, 92, 95. And I'm not gonna lie, like coming back to LA, it's been somewhat taxing on my body. My mind is fine, like my energy and emotions are, are <laughs> relatively stable. <laughs> um, I'm watching with curiosity my responses to the things happening in my neighborhood and everything here, and I'm employing the Healy to adjust and see where I am. So I'm gonna adjust this real time. So I'm gonna tune in. Now I can feel that my root is tight. I can feel I'm a little ungrounded. I can feel my mid chakras need to expand. I'm opening my throat, my third eye connecting up above. You can do the same. As you begin to do this work every day, you begin to feel the difference and see the number on your chart. So you, you, my son, my seven-year-old is beginning to adjust his chakras real time with this tool. And what that means is that's gonna adjust your meridians and the flow of energy through your body. And that means your heart and your lungs and your organs and your tissues are gonna pump more powerfully, which gives you more energy, which change, changes the dynamic of your being and your whole experience. So now that I'm excited and open and letting my heart chakra open now too, I'm gonna run my aura again. and take a look at my, right, we went from 55 to 65, okay? So you can change it, and it looks like my throat chakra is low, so I'm actually gonna tone right now and open up my throat chakra. These are all the things that you could do rapidly in an instant for yourself, even if you don't have the Healy yet, you can tune in and feel the expanse of your chakras instantly. It may not be instant when you first begin the process, but as you do this every day and throughout the day, um, you get more in tune. Having the Healy is, a, is priceless though, it really helps you, your mind register the shift. So I'm going to tone here. And now my chakra, throat chakra is pumped up. Now we're up at 71. So you see this like real time I'm shifting the dynamic of my chakras, of my energy system, of tuning into myself, of me as a presence in my life and my being, attracting and creating what I desire. And so I'm gonna go one more round and then we're gonna do the resonance and pump some frequencies so you guys can feel them. We'll pull a couple cards, okay? And Janine, if you would love a card, I'd be happy to pull one for you since we haven't tuned in in a while. All right. Yeah, now we're up to 82. So I started at a 55 and now I'm up at 82. And all my chakras look pretty even, look at that. So the power of your own energetic vibration is in your hands and this changes what uh, point of attraction I am, what I'm creating with my own energy. So I'm gonna run these little vibrations right now. They're not little, they're powerful. Okay, so let, uh, it's doing a little diagnostic, and then I'm gonna let these frequencies run. Let me know if you feel the frequencies running. It is amazing, I love it so much. When I'm sharing about the device, I feel like I'm giving you a gift. I'm opening you up to something and sharing something amazing, and I want you to be a part of it because it's changed my life so much. So the frequencies are running, um, and let's just let that happen. Let's pull a card for the collective. Let's do a reading for the collective and feel free to share this, anybody that's watching the replay or watching live. Um, let's get some more Valtopians in the Valtopia sphere, honey. I'm about to um, update my website. I'm so excited. If you have anything that you love from the Valtopia sphere that you wanna see come back to the website, let me know. I wanna do some more uh, three card spreads and fun things, quizzes. Emperor, this came up yesterday. Emperor, how are you how are you ruling your own domain? How are you um, taking ownership and leadership of you, your constellation, your people, your space? It's really important right now to be super conscious. Um, it always is, but especially right now because it's gonna change your experience. All right, let's see what comes through this reading. And, what I'm feeling for today is um, 
as we're going, we're going in, we have a new moon. We have a dark new moon, which has been evoking a lot of um, feelings and even fatigue for people. And your body may be feeling tired in this cosmic transit because we're recalibrating our energy. Even if you don't book in with an energy healer or um, aren't working consciously, you will be getting shifted and you may feel tired. And so whatever you can do to nourish your cells, your body, your being, we're energetic, we're energy. And so whatever you're doing to address your energy and your visualization and your thought process about what's happening in your whole body, being and field and intentions is what will be. You're very much in a space to taking a look at who is in my space because I'm creating new. Good, all right, let yourself know. So reflect on your journey and let these inspired ideas come in. So if stuff has been coming up over these last few days um, that felt really intense and like, or your body's been fatigued, take note, where are you feeling constriction or exhaustion in your body? What parts of your body need to be uh, witnessed and addressed? And where are you holding on to stuff that, you're, that the cosmos is showing? It's like in your face to let you let it out. Hi, Paula, welcome. You know, if stuff has been really like triggering you or irritating you or in your face, like don't try to brush it away or numb out or fade out from it. Like really, what is it there to show you? What is it here? Because you don't want to carry it through with you today. All right, forward, going forward. And um, if you'd like to let go of something, put it in the comments. Let's as a collective help each other release ancient wounds and bullshit that's no longer true and that we don't need to create from. It, it's a concept that um, even as we're steeped and know this work, uh, our mind forgets like the, what energetic um, imprint is in our body. We, we get to clear it and shift it. We really do. Now I'm really feeling some sh throw chakra happening as I'm on this live stream. So if this is you with a tight throat, uh, that's being activated by this live stream and, and our presence together, let yourself come into awareness of it. And uh, I just feel like some light language coming through. So, you want to know what 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 you want to Wow, there's a lot of alchemy happening in this transmission. Paula says, what about physical pain in the spine and neck? I know it's stagnant energy, but can't put my finger on it. Well, I mean, what are you doing to tune into that energy and find out what it is? Whether it's a physical issue, like, you know, a lot of us are on computers and phones and looking down and we're not ergonomically taking care of our positioning of our body. That's a huge thing for so many people. Are you taking breaks? Like, are there physical issues for your pain? And then, uh, and then as you tune into beyond that, are there emotional issues for your pain? And um, these are the kind of things that I do tune in with you when we do a reading. Um, and a lot of times there's physical pain, but uh, there's emotional pain that adds to the inflammation and the pain. And if you can begin to unlock and unpack the emotional distress and the baggage that you're holding on to, you can release a lot of inf inflammation and open up the flow and then begin to nourish and address the actual physical damage that might have already happened to your spine or neck or whatever. You know, we, we I'm 50, so I get it. Like, I've done some stuff to my body that I'm dealing with every day. You know, like living for years with hormonal dysfunction has affected my quality of life. And I'm a vitalized, you know, energized being. Um, and behind the scenes, I suffer a lot. I have suffered a lot and it's changing with this device because all of that extra inflammation and dysfunction is being addressed from the emotional to the energetic and the physical, right? You're a massage therapist of 20 years, but you feel it's from trauma. Okay, good. Now you know what it is. You, your knowing is paramount, Paula, because nobody else knows more than we do. We, we are led to believe we need someone outside of us to help us and we can get help. The help you want to get is help that guides you back to your knowing and understanding. Someone that guides you through the process like we're doing right now. So if you know it's from trauma, what have you done to address the trauma? What 
what kind of work um, for yourself have you done to dig in there and find out how to release that tension and energy? Um, and let's pull a card with that in mind. Let's pull a card for everyone who's watching this stream who feels a physical tightness and distress and even pain uh, they're holding on to because of trauma. And let, let me say, I, I work with trauma. I am trauma informed. I'm a somatic healer and I've been through my own um, PTSD release and every client that's come to me has come to me for money or wellness in life and in the end we get to the root and the root is trauma whether it's this life or past life. I love you too Janine. So we, we get to work with trauma and normalize that most of us are traumatized. Being a human being is fucking traumatic and uh, we all have different layers of it and nobody is excluded or denied or um, rejected because they're so low vibe and traumatized. Like fuck that, it's just part of our experience and we get to, um, we get to examine, witness and reveal what the trauma um, is is there to guide us to a better way of being for ourselves so you've done lots of healing but this is deep rooted I'm there for deep root I can't put my finger on what is still there I do feel I've brought this from my original lifetime incarnated okay well maybe it's time I, if you'd like to book in for a Healy scan and a special session um, I did one yesterday I did a 20 minute video scan for one of my clients and then I'm going to do an hour of the Valtopia soul portrait method. Um, but it, um, and that was a special offer that I did a few weeks ago. If you want to find out, just ask me. We could do a quick tune in with the Healy and, and I can tune in with my, um, you know, ex access to our collect, like our connected intuition and guidance, we will get messages, we will explore together, like, well, what is that? How does that feel? Uh, what is that about? And then we, uh, we, I start burping, you start burping, we start clearing what's happening, and you begin to shift the dynamic of something that's, uh, usually what comes up with my work is hidden and subconscious stuff that um, that is so familiar to us that we don't think it's there, and it's actually affecting us in a huge way. And when you uproot it, it becomes so obvious. You're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I've been living with that tightness and that um, pain. Uh, and it's because it, it kind of felt feels like a part of us after all the time. Look at the, ooh, look, abundant, abundant. I see a message. Let me make sure my kids aren't here. Oh, all right. Um, I got to go downstairs and let my kids in for the day. I'm so grateful we got to do this message. Janine, let me pull a card for you really fast because I promised you one. And if my kids are settled in and school is good, I would be happy to pop back on. Paula, please reach out. Let's make a special um, scan for you and see what's going on there. Make a special kind of appointment. Um, and I'm able to do these virtual appointments when my kids are doing school. It's, um, I would love to. Heart chakra, Janine, radiant, peaceful, and take action. Okay? That's our message. Let me know what you think. Put those in the comments for everyone. And ooh, look, cosmic interference too. Know that if you are being disrupted in your um, focus and feel like, whoa, I thought I already worked through this. Yes, you did. And it's coming up to come off. Don't buy into it. Don't plug into it. Just look at it with curiosity. And if you need support to really release it, hit me up. Yes, let yourself be disrupted and rebirthed, honey. All right, I'll be back soon. Own your frequency. You're the miracle. Love you.